uh, there have been others as well. What are residencies like when you have the playwright in the room for the work? What is this like for you as a director? So the residency, the, the in-residence at Israeli stage program is an incredibly engaging event and it's uh, all-encompassing uh, experience for audiences, for artists, for directors who take part in it. Because as part of this program, what happens is when you bring this outside perspective, this Israeli perspective, comes in and starts becoming a part of a conversation, a part of a dialogue with artists within the room, within the rehearsal room. And then it starts becoming a conversation and a dialogue with audiences, with students, with professors, within academic institutions, within religious institutions. And as a whole, it's, it's an incredible thing to watch and see uh, not only what we benefit from it, the, the kind of perspective that we get on issues that we're dealing with here, uh, but also to see the playwright take away something. So in essence, I think it's a two-part gift. Uh, it's a gift for the artists involved, the audiences involved, the people involved here, myself. I'm, I'm ever so grateful for, for this type of opportunity to work with a living playwright from abroad. And, and I think it's a gift for the playwright to walk away knowing that they have a home here in Boston, that there's, there's an artistic home for them outside of where they're coming from. What about personally, right? Now, you're, you're not a hell of a lot older than David is in this play. <laughs> and yet, here you go around the world and you bring here playwrights who are five times your age sometimes. With we won't tell you, sure. 30 times the experience. <laughs> they are published, they are awarded, they are granted, they are, you know, they're world-class theater practitioners. And here you are, you're a kid five years out of college, less. And yet you deal with them on this level where you are interpreting their work and not just interpreting their work like in a regular situation, but bridging cultures, bridging generations. What is that like for you? How's your confidence level? Do you ever question your ability? And, and you do, you turn to them and you say, this has to play this way, this has to play this way. How do you? I mean, do you have, what are the personal issues for you? Let's get to know you, the person who runs the thing, you know, personally. What are your feelings when you come into a room? We know you're Israeli, so you're, yeah, afraid, you know, you're I, afraid of nothing. But, you know, <laughs> there's a unique, I think there's something unique in being Israeli and American. You know, I've, I've had the, the opportunity to live within two cultures in my head constantly and, and in my heart and th throughout as a being. And I think uh, that allows me and enables me to have the confidence uh, to, to oversee this kind of cultural bridge. Uh, because I think as a living cultural bridge, uh, it's, it's, it's an incredible opportunity. It's an incredible gift for me. Um, to be able to share both perspectives, both mindsets, and to be able to turn to the playwright, to be able to turn to the artist, American, Israeli, and, and to bridge that. Because seeing that come together, uh, I think just unravels and, and shows the common humanity that we have. I think we're constantly talking about borders and, and how different we are and, and how different our perspectives are. But I think there's something kind of incredible in watching um, and experiencing the common humanity that, that a student at Brandeis might have and a student at Emerson College might have with a world-renowned playwright from Israel. They have the same things. They want the same things. It's, it's, I think that's humbling. I think it's a humbling experience to, to watch over and over and over again. And, and this being our fourth playwright in residency, um, every playwright brings something very different to the table. You know, um, Hana last year brought the perspective of somebody coming from a minority background within an Israeli context. 
And suddenly that created ties and bridges to people who are from minority backgrounds here in the United States. And what an incredible gift that is to show one another that they're struggling together, that the, the struggle is something that they share and perhaps solutions will also be something that they can share. Um, I think, you know, what Yoshua brings to the table is an incredibly astute and keen awareness of what theater should do to an audience and should do to a person. Uh, one, it's entertaining. Uh, I think he has a great sense of fun in his work. And if there was no fun and no imagination, then what the hell are we doing? Um, but I think it is questioning an existence, questioning this raison d'être and bringing out core problems and issues in our in a social society that that provoke us to think about our whereabouts not only in that theater but within our society and what can we do to change that uh, and i think the the great the great thing that Yoshua offers us through his work it is he doesn't offer us answers as to what we'll be doing and what we should do but he is poking us and provoking us and waking us up to the issues that are at the core of our being as a society. And I think that's extremely important. Um, at a time like this where we see our nation divided, to be reminded that one, we share a common humanity, and two, as a common, as a people and as citizens, we are able to engage with these questions uh, I think that's the greatest gift of life. Uh, May I ask you one final question? Yes. In America, we, we are constantly feeling like we teach the world, liberty, mm -hmm. democracy, we're leaders, world leaders, and here we are with this entity in our midst, Israeli stage, especially at this stage of the game in America, what goes on here politically, socially, 